So this is the continuation of that the video we are talking about the Hall effect on ocean on your BLC pulse motor system. So by this diagram, I want to now introduce you to the main system. So this is the the unit. This is the magnets round have different poles north south north south configuration of this motor now as you can see this is the circuit you saw in the pre in the first tutorial so the connection goes as this so here now is a flywheel in this flywheel you know the pulse motor system uses only one phase of the magnet which is either you are using the south or the north pole but in this case the blc motor concept we invented using both your north and the south pole now we have two starter coil that will drive this flywheel in this case the major drawback of most PLC of most pulse motor is the time frame of switching. That is when the time interval of switching between the phase of the magnet. When you take into consideration of what we have here, you see that now this indicator is on, showing you that this one should be energized if it is connected to a battery now watch what will happen as this magnet this particular magnet it's leaving this particular phase it will be off from here down here to the next magnet that means 30 to 40 percent of the time the system is off this is the reason why most pulse motor system have inferior torque in driving loads now watch this this is the whole effect switch for this so whenever this particular pole is facing this this indicator is on signifying that this starter coil has been energized now watch as this is in phase with this Hall effect this one is on now to add or inc to increase the torque of this system we are now combining both instead of using a single starter coil we now added another so that when this particular section or unit is off the other one is on doubling the torque and the power of this flywheel now watch this section or this this part of the system is on when this rotates another one is on signifying that this particular section has been energized so while this concept is advantageous is that the whole effect responds to a particular phase of the magnet. If you connect it to the triggering when the knot is facing it, then you are sure whenever the knot pole approaches that section, it will be on. When the south approaches a particular section, you see that it is on. So this is a little configuration using this diagram your whole effect is the battery as the source the MOSFET the coil so the same unit is here this is your coil this is a whole effect you can use either the back or the front of the whole effect just to design whatever you want to design so whenever particular phase is connected 
then you know how to maneuver it so the same diagram everything just the application so it's off now whereas this one is on on and off so the same circuit no difference just and make sure you do your connections well then this is now the source okay the drain going to energize this particular starter core so one good thing about this is it is simplified and because you can see how it goes so this is the second tutorial of this configuration so the third video will now expand everything about the working principle of this concept we want to carry everybody along no matter your state or your status in this free energy or pulse motor design in this diagram and the configuration here we believe you can achieve a step-by-step -step procedure on how to configure your own pulse motor system using this BLC motor concept because BLC motor concept produces higher torque than ordinary Bedini motor that pulses only one phase of the magnet. Thank you and see you in the next video.